It seemed that my last video raised some interest about memory overclocking. Overclocking the memory is very important, but also is very long and boring. So I suggest you to stop this video right now, go and bring some food and plenty of water. It's going to be a very long one and, well, I'm kidding. I will cut the boring part for you and will leave you all the fun. Today I'm going to overclock this kit, the Ballistics Sport LT, which is a very, very interesting kit. The title seems a bit clickbait, but trust me, it's for real, this kit is unbelievably good. So, now, let's kick some megahertz out of it. Before we start, it's very important that your motherboard have the latest BIOS version. And then, make sure that as well your Windows is uh, with the latest version and updated. You should also install the AMD chipset driver, and optional, but maybe useful, the latest Ryzen Master. Another software that uh, is mandatory is uh, Ryzen DRAM Calculator. You will find the link in the description below. And then as well, if you don't know exactly the chip of your memory, another software is Typhoon Burner. Everything can be downloaded for free. So, let's start. First, if you don't know your memory chip, you should start with the Typhoon Burner, you download the program, and then you do read. In the report here, you will know what type of chip it is. In this case, it's a Micron eDie. So keep in mind that, Micron eDie. So now, when you know what chip you have, open Ryzen DRAM Calculator. Okay, at this point, you have to select your CPU, in my case Ryzen 2nd generation. Here you have the various memory chips. So, in my case, Micron eDie. Don't touch this. If you have dual rank memory, just put two here, but in this case we have uh, one rank. Frequency. Here is a very important thing. So, if you have a B350, I suggest you to start with 3200 MHz or 3400 MHz. Probably you can push a bit higher, but I suggest you to start with 3200 MHz or 3400 MHz. In my case, we can start at 3600. Leave it this at 100, 2, and well, here you have to select your motherboard type. B350, B450, dual slot, so usually they are mini ITX. In my case, I'm using a Crosshair 8. Okay, so, once you set everything here, just go for the safe profile. What is important now are the timing. So we are going in the BIOS to change mainly these timings here, the voltage here, so DRAM voltage and SOC voltage. You can leave that in auto for now, so we are not going to change this. Uh, another important is are those two, so power down mode, gear down mode, command rate, okay? those one and this. So usually when I do something like this I use my my cell phone. I make a photo of this so I can use it while I'm changing the value in the BIOS. So good tip, make a photo of your smartphone and then you can restart the system and enter into the BIOS. I suggest you to go into load optimize default so bring everything at default save and exit restart and go into the bios again now just load your xmp or docp profile now the system is telling me that the ram must be in sync to have optimal performance but we already know that okay so xmp profile we check that everything is correct DRAM voltage and I suggest you to set the FCLK manually so 3200 MHz it means 1600 for the FCLK save and exit and again enter in the BIOS this is quite boring I know but if you want to do it properly and without any issue you must follow this procedure So now that you are in the BIOS, 
go here and you change the frequency so 3600 1800 remember that you have to make this two times so 3600 so now just go into the timings and start the funny part sometimes you will see that uh, the names in the DRAM calculator are slightly different than what you can find in your board in my case uh, the ASUS one are pretty lined up and really easy to change with Gigabyte and MSI are a bit different but uh, well use your imagination and I'm sure that you will find the, the one that correspond to the tools in this case you will find that there's nothing that correspond to this in the tool or simply the tool is like blank but don't worry leave it on auto and skip to the next one now that the timings are correctly set just give it another look double check because if you for error change something that you shouldn't or maybe you, you put a different value you risk that your system doesn't boot and you have to reset CMOS and you know add some time and difficult to the process so make sure everything is set correctly and move to the voltage now uh, for the safe profile I suggest you to go with the recommended so in this case 1.4 volts and the, the shock voltage to 1.1 Okay, so we have set the voltage, we have set the timings, the frequency is at 3600 and we have as well the FCLK at 1.1. Save and exit and let's boot. Now I suggest you to download CPU-Z and just to check when you boot the system if everything is set correctly. So we have our memory speed and timings. And okay, now we open Ryzen DRAM calculator. I usually check the memory with this tool. This is very effective and very fast, but it costs like 9 euro, like $10, something like this. So you can use the memory benchmark tool integrated in DRAM calculator. So to see if you have a baseline of stability, you just run the easy mode. So, main bench mode, easy, and run. It will last a couple of minutes, so be patient. And well, let's see if we have some error or we can move forward. Okay, the test passed, so we have a first degree of stability. And uh, now, well, I know this kid, I know he can do a lot more than this, so we are going to push the frequency. Keep in mind that this kit with the XMP profile have a latency of around 75 which is not bad but as you see in like five minutes we jump from 75 to 70 the latency is very important for gaming performance so now what you need to do is restart the system go into the BIOS and raise the frequency I suggest you to don't touch anything and uh, try to push the frequency Keep in mind that not every board can handle more than 3600 MHz and even not all the CPU can handle that speed. When you do memory overclocking, I suggest you to prepare a good base, like 3600 C16 safe profile. Make sure that you run the mem test, as I'm going to show you later, for a couple of hours just to prepare that base. And then, when you have a starting point, when you have time, you can you can try to push the frequency, push the timings, but at least you have something safe that is there, saved in your BIOS. So now what you're going to do is just raising the frequency to 3800. I know I can do it because I know this kit. I made the Zenchu review with this uh, profile, uh, but uh, if you want to go slow, you just raise step by step. You do an easy uh, mem check. With the, with the tool, you do a benchmark and then you go back in the BIOS, you raise a bit. With the third generation Ryzen, you can go above this. So I suggest you to set this as ultimate goal and well, let's see how we can do it. So we change the frequency, 3800, 1900 here, 
and we keep everything as before. So, save and exit. Okay, to make the process quick, I suggest you to open the run calculator, CPUZ, check everything is fine, so we have the memory at the frequency we want, the timings, and okay, membench, easy mode, run. So, once again, we pass the test, and well, this is already unbelievably good for a kit that uh, is like $75 or 90 euro in Europe. And well, look at the latency, we are 66.9. We are really at the level of a kit that cost almost twice or three times. So, okay, but we are not satisfied now. Uh, we pass the test and uh, we can push it more. I really want to show you, if I can, uh, to, to show you a situation where we get errors and how to troubleshoot it. So, what I'm gonna do now, what, and what you can do now if you want, is to try the 3800 profile, the fast one. So we're going to push a bit this kit with tighter timings, so uh, to push a bit the speed of, the, of this kit. Again, take your mobile, take, take your smartphone, make a photo, and let's go into the BIOS. At this point it's very easy. We just need to change uh, the voltage and the timings. I suggest you to use the recommended voltage, so 1.45, leave the SOC voltage, and timings. Now you will see that the timings are more or less the same. There's only few changes. Like here, 4, 6, 16, Again, check everything is fine, so the frequency, the voltages, and save and exit. Okay, we have a boot, so fine. Again, we check that the frequency and the timings are correct, and yes. Everything is set, you open price and Dirac calculator again. And we do the easy membench test. Okay, now it seems that we have errors. This is what happens when something goes wrong. So in this case I suggest you to stop the test, go back here to the main, load the, the, prof the profile, and check that uh, everything is, is fine again, so go back into the BIOS, check if everything is set correctly. If something is not set correctly, change it, go back, and then you, st you can start do the troubleshooting by using the alternative. So you can raise the TRFC, you can raise the voltage, go down the voltage, So, after playing a bit with the settings, I found a stable configuration. So, 3800C16, fast profile. So, it's very, very fast for a kit that is so cheap. Here is the profile that I used. But, uh, it wasn't stable at the first time, so I had to tinker a bit with the settings, and I end up using this one, so the TRFC at 608, when you have this that is too tight, the system doesn't even boot. In my case, it was booting, but it was unstable. And you can let your system to be unstable. You can have crash during games or restarts randomly. So, now that I found the, the problem was that, and when I, I correct the problem, I start to, to bring down a bit the RAM voltages, because RAM get hot, and when the RAM get hot, it is going to be unstable. So a good practice is to, when you find a stable configuration, is to try to shave a bit some volt from the memory. In my case, I end up being stable at 1.4 volts, which is very low. So the default is 1.35, 
and then I shade from 1.45 to 1.4 but this is going to take time and uh, well in this case we have our system stable and again for this kit is really mind-blowing because we have this kind of performance only with kit that cost twice or three times so now that we found a good uh, and stable base what I'm going to do is to go to Membench and set to Memtest and I will say that a good result would be if I can set 200% single and of course it's going to take overnight but when it can pass this test I'm pretty sure that this, this system can run everything without any issue and again if you find some error in the process just adjust the voltage or adjust some settings you have to fine tune as I told you memory overclocking is uh, can take hours or days to find the perfect configuration but the most important thing of this video today is that with the Ballistic Sport LT I was able to max out the frequency of my Ryzen 3rd generation at 3800C16 with a fast profile so one of the best kit you can buy for value and now well it's 2 and 14 in the morning tomorrow I have to work so well this tutorial ends here as always if you have any issue or if you have any question that I'm sure you will have you can write a comment down below or join my discord server I can try to help you out and see you in the next one